I have a confession. I haven't used toothpaste in three years, but I still have my teeth. I haven't scared away my friends with bad breath. I haven't got a six foot radius around me everywhere I go. In fact, my teeth have actually been much healthier since I stopped using toothpaste. Here's why I quit toothpaste. Most commercial toothpastes contain harmful ingredients like fluoride, glycerin, titanium dioxide, triclosan, and surfactants like sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium lauryl sulfate. So rather than using these chemical filled toothpastes, I make my own tooth whitening powder using a range of natural ingredients specifically chosen for their antibacterial, antimicrobial and stain removing properties. Bentonite clay helps to bind to and draw out heavy metals and toxins. Baking soda helps to remove stains. Calcium powder provides an extra boost of calcium, which is essential for teeth and helps to give a whitening property. Ground cloves, which provide antibacterial properties and give a more pleasant taste to the tooth powder. Cinnamon, which is antibacterial and also gives a nice taste. Mint, which helps to soothe gums and provide a nice taste to the powder. Turmeric powder, which has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties, and some studies show it can be helpful in preventing gingivitis. Then we have activated charcoal, which attracts heavy metals and toxins to its porous surface, kind of like a magnet, and this allows them to pass straight through the body without being absorbed. However, fair warning, activated charcoal can be quite abrasive, so just use it with caution. The full recipe will be linked in the description below for you guys, but feel free to adjust the ingredients or add more ingredients to cater this tooth powder to your needs. To make this tooth powder, using a non-metal spoon, add all the ingredients to a glass jar and mix well to combine. Now, I forgot to use a non-metal spoon while I was doing this, so my utensils are metal. But just to be on the safe side, as bentonite clay and activated charcoal can react with the metal properties, you want to use a non-metal spoon. Once combined, to use this tooth powder, just add a little of the powder to a wet toothbrush, then brush and rinse as normal. Again, if your teeth are quite sensitive and you don't want it to be too abrasive, just leave out the activated charcoal and baking soda. And that's how you make this DIY activated tooth whitening powder. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do let me know if you tried it out yourself or if you guys use a different toothpaste or tooth powder that you'd love. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!